Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be making a card tower. So, and I'm going to teach you the most efficient way that I've learned um, to make one. Because most people, they look them like this. So, they like place one here. And they place another one right here. And if they do that, and then they have to like keep doing that like to the other side. Like this. But that way is like way too hard for me. I can't do it. Um, so I've learned a different way to do it. So what I do is this. I'll put the. Oh wait, a second, I need to move it over. I'll put the. Show you. Um, it. Once I'm done. So what I do is this. I put one here and this one is leaning on this one this one's leaning on this one this one's leaning on this one whoops it fell down and then this one is leaning on goes back to this one so yeah that's how it goes and then then I like add on right here like this and you you may keep keep making these squares in the middle and you just keep on doing that until it's as big as you want it to be. So, I won't make mine too big. I'll make it a decent size. But not too big because I don't want this video to be too long. This is just like the basics on how to do it. If it falls down, then don't worry about it. Just keep going because the only way you can get better at it is by doing it. So, I'm almost done. I'll just keep it like that. So, after you got this done, you can make it as big as you want it to be. I just made it like this because this is like an okay size. So, then what you do is you just place cards on top to make a, a foundation for another layer. So, what I do is I just put them all into one direction like this. So, they're all going up and down. And then I, after that, I put them this way, which is the other direction. So I usually just finish one direction. And then after I finish the one direction, I place down the other cards. Oh no, part of it fell. That doesn't matter. I'm just not going to touch that part. I'm just going to let it be falling down so you just have to make you it doesn't matter how you how you place them down just find out a good way that you think makes it the mo most stable and I think this is the best way for me so then after you got whoops, after you got your foundation so this is kind of like the floor um, then you do the exact same thing but instead of on the floor, it's on top. It's going to be a little harder. Be it's best to do it on a rug. You might think it's better to do it on a table, but it's actually better to do it on a rug because um, it has more friction. But once you get onto the second layer, it gets harder because there's less friction. So it's really hard when you first start. So if, if it falls down, um, don't get frustrated because you're eventually going to get better. And also, if you get too frustrated and you start getting mad at it, then you should go and take a break and then come back to it later. So it all fell down. That means I'll just, I'm not going to get frustrated. I'm just going to redo it and make, and try to make it care, more careful. Okay, um, once you do this. It's, so it's basically like you're just doing the same thing over and over again. Sorry that my arm's in the way. Oh yeah, just doing the same thing over and over again. You make this row, and then you put the top on, like this one. And then after you put the top on that one, then you can do this again. And then put, so you can make it as high as you want. It's hard to make it really high, though. So If you're just a starter, I would try making just one. And then, like, once you, like, practice making one, and once you get really good at that, then go on to the next one, because 
because um, if you like keep doing like the second layer, then that means um, by the time you do the second layer, then um, you keep oh if it falls down, then you're not good at redoing it, so it's gonna take a long time for you to get it back there. So so you, you don't so you don't get so fr too frustrated. I would do the bottom and then knock it all down and then do it in the bottom again. So you won't get so frustrated if it doesn't work because you're like it's gonna take so long to get back to where it was. Because if you practice, that means it won't take that long. Okay, so I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna do, so pretend that this is covering most of the, most of the cards on, like mo most of it. Make sure, so, um, pretend that these cards were covering most of it, so, and after you do that, I'm just gonna hold this up. You have to put the cards on top, just like you did with this layer. I'm gonna try to do that once again. One more time, it's gonna be my, my last try. If I fail, then I won't. Just have to keep on trying. And as you can see, it's much harder because there's less friction. So the cards slide more. I'm just gonna do this part and then. Well, I don't have any more cards. Okay, well, so I only had about one deck of cards because I couldn't find any more decks, but that doesn't matter. So, yeah, you just do the bottom layer and then you do this and then you do what I did here and then you place cards on top like you did for the first layer and then after you get that done then you take put do more put more cards on top of that like this and then after that you place it on top so it gets, it gets really high you can make it as high as you want until you probably can't reach it and then eventually it probably will just fall down but that's what's bleh. okay so yeah, that is really all um, I wanted to show you for this for this video. For this video, I was just gonna show you how to do it. If you got, if you guys want to see more of these types of videos, more card stacking videos, then um, please leave a like. And also in the comments, maybe you can um, say um, how what like you would like me to do next. Like if you want me to do more layers or something. So um, if you can like. And also, if you can get subscribed, then I'll really appreciate it. And also, turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And maybe you can see more card stacking videos. So, that's all for, all, that's all for now. And bye!